Hey, the home of Guiding Hands is set to host their 49th annual gala next week. Joining me with details of the event is CEO Edward Hershey. Good morning to you, Edward. Good morning, Paul. How are you doing today? I am doing great. Thanks for asking. Tell us about the event. So Home of Guiding Hands has been uh, in East County for 50 years now. We serve over 4,500 individuals. And uh, next Tuesday, June 10th, is our 49th annual ball, uh, the Bootlegger Ball. Uh, it's set up to be a great time. Uh, we have cocktail reception, three-course meal, paired wine, unique experiences, silent and live auctions, and live music by the Mighty Untouchables. The Mighty Untouchables. What kind of music is that? Uh, they play 80s and uh, modern music and just stuff you can dance and have fun to. Who, what was the genesis of this endeavor? So, um, you know, Homo Gang Hands, as I mentioned, has been around for 50 years. And they always looked for innovative ways of doing things. In the early beginnings when we started, it actually was a group of family members that just thought there needed to be a better way. Uh, at the time, individuals with disabilities were put into institutes and family members said, we need to have some better way of doing it. And they created what we call the campus out in Lakeside. Uh, we've since moved into the community and uh, more uh, engagement within the community. Uh, but it was really that innovation. Uh, and with it, they started their annual uh, balls and uh, they just can continue from there. A uh, really fun time. It's a great way for people to contribute and help out with the mission. And what are some of the better ways of doing things, like just being interactive in the community, I, I suspect, right? You know, that's the biggest part, right, is we all, you and I, there, we are involved in our communities. We have our hobbies. We have what we like to do. I like to spend time down at the beach uh, in beautiful San Diego. and that is not normal unfortunately for a lot of these individuals uh so we really work with the families we work with the individuals identify what their passions are uh what they how they can thrive in the community and then connect them with the community we just recently had a group that went to disneyland uh wow. and you should have seen the smiles on their face and just interacting with the characters with the uh, um, staff at disneyland just became it's one empowering to them, uh, but it's also uh, a great opportunity for them to live what you and I call a normal life. I know all disabilities are not created equal, but just from your perspective, how are we doing as a society as far as making our world accessible to one and all? We've, we've come a long way in the last 50 years. Uh, I believe we still have uh, work to do in this area. Uh, it's something that I really uh, push to do with my staff and our organization and within our industry. Um, but I think we've made some great strides uh, in that part. Like I mentioned, you know, 50 years ago, uh, most people were in institutes. Uh, they couldn't have a life that you and I call. I was with a couple yesterday that are celebrating their 40th, 7th anniversary. Both of them have Down syndrome. And they were told they couldn't get married. They actually made a book oh, that's and a amazing. Movie about it. And it was just touching hearing their story uh, about all the obstacles they faced to get married and just what a great life they have together now. Oh, that, uh, all right, so let's put the call out to arms. What, what, what do you need from, the, from KUSI viewers? How can they help out? Yeah, if you can go to our website, www.guidinghands.org. Uh, you can see how you can help. Uh, also, as we mentioned, our gala is coming up June 10th uh, at the U.S. Grant, and you can get tickets or find out how you can help by going to www.hghgala.org. All right. Well, we wish you a successful outing, and uh, you're doing Angel's work, so we it's much appreciated, sir, by Thank one you. and all. Thank Th you. Thanks, Ed. All right. So